Marlins chairman and principal owner Bruce Sherman made the announcement Sunday with 10 games remaining on the schedule. We are fortunate to have had Don Mattingly leading our team on the field over the last seven years, Sherman said in a statement. He has represented the Marlins, our players, our fans, and the South Florida community with unmatched dignity and pride. Over the course of our recent conversations with Don, we both agreed not to pursue a new contract for the 2023 season and that the time is right for a new voice to lead our clubhouse. Mattingly said it was a mutual decision among him, Sherman and general manager Kim Ng. He said they agreed the team needed a new voice. Mariners extend ace they acquired a deadline with five-year, $108 million deal. I am proud and honored to have served as manager of the Marlins for the past seven years and have enjoyed my experiences and relationships I've developed within the organization. I look forward to spending time with my family in Evansville, and to any future endeavors," he added. Mattingly took over the team at the start of the 2016 season. Per He's at the end of his seventh season. He's the longest tenured manager in the franchise's history, 437 to 583 as a manager and took the team to the playoffs in the 2020 coronavirus impacted season. Miami is 63 to 89 this season with Sandy Alcantara as one of the leaders for the National League Cy Young Award. The Associated Press contributed to this report.